Welcome out to another one of our Athlete of the Week interviews. We're joined with our second athlete of the 2022 fall, Sophie Osman is joining us. I got it right. I'm really mm -hmm. excited about yes. that. I'm working on names right now. It's early and that makes me feel a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Sophie, congratulations. Uh, women's soccer nearly got a victory here this weekend against a couple of tough teams, but you go with a couple of one to two losses. Mm -hmm. You still got to feel proud about how you guys played. Yeah, I mean, we played some really like tough opponents this week. They were both really high ranked teams and teams that we would hopefully like to face if we, you know, made it to the next level nationals where we hope to be. So it was good to kind of see where we are as a team. And I think we did, I think we did well. You started out really strong in that first game. You got the opening goal of the season mm -hmm. for the, the, the Golden Eagles. How did that feel to, to break the seal on that side of things and get your first strike? Um, I think it's, it's always nice to get a goal, but it was just kind of a hit and hope, I guess, and it luckily went in. So, But I think it was a really good team performance from everyone, and like we've learned a lot of things about what we need to work on moving forward. So, You're playing yeah. a little bit more in the midfield right now. Have you been liking that role versus being one of the attackers? Yeah, well, I came in, I was recruited to kind of come in and then play in the midfield, and then last season I found myself on the wing more. So um, I guess I'm back in the middle where I'm like used to, I think I'm more comfortable there. So. Yeah, I, I feel like happy that I'm back in that role. And I think Gardner as well, he really helps me to improve my game. So Talk a little bit about that, because when you get recruited by one coach and you, you are learning from a different coach, do you think that's something that's going to help you in the long run of seeing multiple styles of, of play? Yeah, I think so, because um, Gardner and previous coach Nate have really different styles of play. So, um, you know, it's something you just have to kind of like adapt to. but. Um, it's, it's also a nice thing to learn, you know, all these different styles of play from different coaches and you can see what, you know, fits you and take little bits from both. So, yeah, no, it's been good. You guys have another tough weekend coming up this weekend over in Kansas. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to be tested with another top 10 team, uh, mm -hmm. the seventh ranked Butler, and uh, another game against Garden City, I believe. And, yeah. and are you excited for the games this weekend to kind of see how things keep rolling? Yeah, I think we're all really excited this week. It will be hot in Kansas, of course, but um, no, it will be it will be good for us, and we're just kind of looking to move up the rankings as best we can, and yeah, get some wins on the. You know, for the team this weekend, but yeah. I know the other thing is going forward, talking to Coach Gardner, he said that you really want to work on not not that you don't have weapons to get it mm -hmm. to, but finding those weapons a bit more consistently. Are you excited to see the growth of the chemistry? Because I know the attackers that you have right now are, are a little bit younger as well and, and are kind of getting that chemistry going too. Yeah, um, I think... In training, that's like what we've been working on a lot is trying to find like where our strengths are. We have a lot of speed on our wings, so I think, yeah, I think that's what Gardner is like looking at doing is finding those, you know, areas where we can get in and be successful. So yeah. Definitely looking at seeing how Sophie continues to pile up the assists and goals as the season goes on, and hopefully a couple of wins. But Sophie, congratulations, our athlete of the week. Thank you.